How did, how did it feel to throw under not really much pressure today? Was it weird? Um, I've done it once before in uh, Eugene in 2008 mm -hmm. when I, well, I'm sorry, 2009 when I was already on the team. Mm -hmm. And it feels awesome. Just kind of go out there and compete, do yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah. And for me, it's all, I, I just wanted to make the final. I've made every single final since I was a uh, sophomore in, in college. So I just kind of wanted to keep that streak going. Yeah. That was really my only motivation. Once I threw 21, 22, I, I could have stopped right there. I did my job. I'm, I'm already on the team, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. How has that affected your training leading up to this meet? Um, a little, because, you know, I'm, I'm a competitor, so I'm always in the back of my mind thinking, okay, what do I need to do to be ready for the next meet? So, it, it didn't, it's just almost business as usual for okay. me. I just go out there, get a good practice in, get yourself up to good shape. I mean, I got back to 21. Yeah. I haven't thrown 21 in a while, so... I That's wanted to get back over 21, wanted to get back to 70 feet in the competition. Yeah. I feel like I accomplished all those goals. Awesome, awesome. And uh, what do you think it's going to take to get on the stand in Moscow? Well, to be honest, I think it's going to take around 2180, yeah. maybe even the 90s. Yeah. I know Ryan's obviously 22 He's meters. He's ready. consistent 22 meter shape all year long. Yeah. He knows Storrell's going to come out in the 80, 90 range. Yep. And Majewski, he's, he's coming on slowly, but I think he'll be in that 80 range also. And you, don't, you never know who's going to come out with him. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. You never know. Well, congratulations. Well, thank Holy you. cow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Weather's a little different here than in New York, huh? Yeah. 